I have a sad story to tell you It may hurt your feelings a bit Last night when I walked into my bathroom I stepped in a big pile of shaving cream Be nice and clean Shave every day and you'll always look keen Well, Max from Mars, and a group of students um, at Rutgers felt traumatized and scared and whatnot because of the visit of, visit of Breitbart's tech editor, Milo Y. I'm just going to call him Y, okay? That's too much for me to handle. According to the paper, students and faculty members held a wound-looking gathering at a cultural center on campus where students feel, described feeling scared, hurt, and discriminated against. That's unbelievable. <laughs> right here you have the newspaper article. This is beyond belief. A variety of different organizations and departments were present to listen, answer questions, and show support to the apparently weak and vulnerable students who just a few days prior had disrupted Wise event by smearing fake blood on their faces and chanting protest slogans. One student at the event told Targum that they broke down crying at the event after the event when another felt Reported they felt scared to walk around the campus the next day. That's utter nonsense. According to the report, many others felt they said they felt unsafe at the event and on the campus afterwards. It is upsetting that my mental health is not cared about by the university, said one student at the event. Yeah, it is, because if you are truly frightened by this guy, then you have mental issues. I do not know what else for us to do to be heard and to be cared about. I deserve an apology. Everyone in this room deserves an apology. No, you, no, you sniveling, whining, snot-nosed brat. You deserve to be slapped across the face is what you deserve. A number of organizations were at the event to offer support to the poor, traumatized students. These included Psychiatric Services, Office for Violence Prevention, and Victim Assistance. What violence? And the Rutgers University Police. However, as far as we know, none of the protesting students were institutionalized, arrested for vandalism, or assaulting peaceful attendees of Milo's talk with red paint. And that goes on to say, Rutgers students are clearly are displaying clear-cut signs of the cry-bully phenomenon whereby the regressive left feels traumatized, victimized, and attacked even while they are viciously attacking others. In the case of Miles talk at Rutgers, there's no question that their behavior encompassed vandalism at the very best. Yet the students still believe themselves to be victims, so much so that they set up therapy sessions and complain about their mental health. Yeah, they do have mental health issues. Little wonder that wise events are drawing such huge turnouts. The same majority of students are sick of it. I would hope so. Well, there you go. Uh, cry bullies. I can't believe this is happening. This is sickening. Uh, there should be psychiatrists called in because these uh, cryboly students really should see be put under psychiatric care. If they're traumatized by some conservative coming there and visiting, they really do need psychiatric 
they really do need psychiatric help. I mean, we're talking about somebody who just peacefully comes and puts out this message of conservatism and hope. I'm disgusted by this. Thanks to Breitbart for the story. I'm Artifacts Mars. Thanks for watching.